I'm Clint, but my friends just call me Taz, which is really just my last name shortened. I've always wanted to be an athlete and a filmmaker, and although I'm nowhere close right now, this is the document of my journey. So let's talk today about the thousand skis. Basically anytime I post a video of these skis on Instagram and TikTok, I get questions about them. And today I want to make a video talking specifically about those questions. Give some preface. This is the park model in the 178. I am 5 foot 11. So this is a little shorter ski than I normally ski, but again, they are park skis, so that kind of makes sense. So park edition, this is the narrowest waist width that they uh, offer. I believe it's 98, uh, it could be 95. I'll put that number up on the screen when I'm home and have the uh, specs in front of me. Overall thoughts on these skis though, they are an extremely fun ski. They will make you, as all of the creators of this ski said, more of a swervy skier because they just want to have fun they're very poppy when i go off a jump i feel like i get exponentially more air on these skis than anything else i've ever seen in my entire life butters are super easy on these skis you literally just lean back they are i believe the most flexible skis on the market other than maybe something like the wets. And you can see, even just popping off these tiny little side nets, I'm getting a nice amount of air. Whereas in, if I was on something like my Moment Death Wishes or my own Eps, I wouldn't have the same amount of pop and air time that I do off something like this. One of the biggest questions I get is, are these skis stable at speed? With how flexible they are, a lot of people worry that they're going to be slappy. Um, and what I always tell people is that although these skis are flexible, you have to push weight into them to flex them. They're not like something like a Solomon Rocker 2, maybe the wet, where they chatter on their own and move on their own. You have to actually put some weight into them to get them to start moving, which happens very easily when you put a little bit of weight behind them. But taking them at speed, which I'll do right here down this pitch, there's no issues with speed, with chattering, or feeling like I'm out of control. So people often ask me, how is the durability of this ski? And that would be the one thing I would call out as maybe, maybe not a negative, but maybe a little bit of a downside. So because these skis have, I believe it's called a capped sidewall where they just fold the top sheet over. You can see when the edges clack together of these skis, they do start marking up and none of these have gone deep enough to go into the core, but you can see I have epoxied things like this just to make sure that no water gets in. But I will caveat that with the only way to get skis this flexible and this playful is to have that capped sidewall. Although there may be a little bit of question of durability, and again, I've ridden these a full season and they're still going strong, no issues. The only way to get the ski to be that playful is to have that sidewall that isn't super durable. There's not as much rigidity on the edge, so you can do things like get way up on your tips. Overall, I'm a really, really big fan of these skis. They've allowed me to do what the creators call swerve skiing, where you're just popping and jumping and, and never, never really stopping your skiing. And that's all really due to this ski. Yes, there are little questions of durability. Again, I've had these a full season and they're still going strong. I imagine they'll make it well through this season, maybe even through next. Now, I don't think 
Thousand Skis is making the ski for everyone. I don't think this is marketed as the ski for everyone. I think this is the ski that, if you really like that kind of swerve skiing, that kind of playful, jibby skiing style, this is definitely the ski that's gonna take you to the next level because it's gonna allow you to, to do things that other skis are not gonna allow you to do. Not bad.